What up, it's Johnny here. I'm gonna show you the guitar setup now, what we used for the recordings of the third album. So here are the guitars. We got Acoustic, Martin. This is actually tuned like a 12 string. Then we have my new Les Paul custom Long scale, a Fender, Stratocaster, and then of course my old one. I use this for most of the guitar parts on the album. Another acoustic. This was used a lot. We have here uh, the Archie's Explorer. He used this a lot. I think almost all the songs that he played, the rhythm parts, he played with this. Then we have banjo. And a mandolin which was also used in one song. Yeah, then we have a only one cabinet here, mic'd up. It's my Marshall 4x12 and it has Celestin Vintage 30s. So this is the miking that we use. 57 Audio Technica ribbon and uh, MD421. Sounds killer. Fender hot rod here. I think we used this for the few cleans that we did, and it has an amazing reverb on it. And then a bassman. We used this for the bass solo that we have in one song. Yeah, a fucking bass solo. <laughs> for the amps, we got a Super old Marshall JMP. I think it's from 60 something or early 70s. We used that for the crunch, some crunch parts, and actually a few cleans that that are like a little bit distorted. Sounds fucking great. My Soldano that goes to 11. As you can see, I used this for all the rhythm parts, almost all the rhythm parts, and all the solos that I did with the VHT 5050 cranked up very hard. Didn't use XFX at all except for one song that I need pitch shifting. Then we have a Finnish handmade blue tone head here. It's 35 watts I think. Great sounding amplifier. Most of the Archie's leads are played with that one and um, I think half of the rhythm tracks also. Marshall Jubilee here. We use that a lot also. I, I, I think I played some rhythm parts and cleans through that and Arch played also a few rhythms with that. We run everything through this little bit here. But as, as you can see, we don't boost much. We just... It does something good. And then we use G-Lab. Wow, wow. And uh, for the rhythm guitars we use the noise suppressor here. And it all went through this little leh leh box. And then of course the tall box. <laughs> Let's listen. He was used a lot actually. As you can see here. Very professional way to put it. Then we use this as a phaser for a few songs. Small song, great sounding pedal. Use this one for some songs. Only actually one song. This is a crazy pedal. We made a crazy lead with this this one. For the song called Bad Habits Die Hard. So yeah, there you go. That's how you get the Santa Cruz sound. 